Australia's new financial year has started, and the Australia government has set in motion a lot of new changes to its migration system, which includes Indonesians new visas to Australia. In this video we will be discussing some important changes that are now in place from July 1, 2023, for the new financial year. I will also be talking about the upcoming visa quota allocation in this new financial year for regions, so make sure you watch this video to the end. The first thing I will be talking about is the new visa for Pacific migrants. This is visa will be newly introduced, providing 3,000 places for eligible migrants from Pacific countries and Timor least. Spots for the Pacific Engagement Visa PEV, will be allocated by a ballot process each year and those selected will be able to apply for permanent residence in Australia. 2. Changes to student visas From July 1, student visa work restrictions has been reintroduced and capped at an increased rate of 48 hours per fortnight. Only international students working in the aged care sector will be exempt from the limit until 31 December 2023. Also from this date, some holders of subclass 485 temporary graduate visas will be able to stay in Australia for a longer period. The extension means a stay period of four years for bachelor's degree graduates, up from two years, five years for master's degree graduates, up from three, and six years for doctoral graduates, up from four. Three, migrants will need to earn more. Also from July 1, the minimum salary an applicant needs to receive sponsorship from an employer will increase. The Temporary Skilled Migration Income Threshold TSMIT has not been raised since it was frozen at $53,000 a decade ago. It will jump to $70,000, where it would have been without the freeze. Also, those wishing to apply for permanent residence, under the skilled regional visa, subclass 191, should note that there will be no more minimum income requirement for their permanent residence application, as the minimum income threshold has been removed. 4. Skilled Migrants Prioritized The government has returned the planning level for permanent migration in 2023-24 to 190,000 places. It had previously been increased to 195,000 in the Albanese government's first budget last October. It will allocate 137,100 places, around 70%, to skilled migrants, in order to address persistent skill shortages. This is down slightly from 142,400 places in the 2022-20 program. However, the government has announced that the new visa allocation for states and regions will soon be announced for this new financial year. As such, every applicant either from onshore or offshore will be able to see the visa quotas for the regions and apply accordingly. 5. Visa Processing The government will provide $125.8 million over four years from 2023 to 24 to continue implementing outcomes from the Jobs and Skills Summit last September. This includes $75.8 million over two years to extend the current surge in visa processing resources and $50 million over four years and $15.3 million per year ongoing for extra enforcement and compliance activities to maintain the integrity of the migration system. Finally, Mr. Albanese announced Indonesians will be able to access extended business visas for Australia, increasing from three to five years, while Indonesian EPISport holders will be prioritized. Indonesians will also be able to access a frequent traveler visa. This offers a 10-year visa validity making an enormous difference, and removing bureaucratic impediments to our closer relationship, Mr. Albanese said. If you have any question or comment, please drop them below while making sure to like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching.